Normally our breakfast shows all French toast and pancakes and Sophie Mosas. <laughs> but this is Wrigleyville, baby. Which means only one thing. <coughs> Time for a hangover cure. Pizza and beer. If you haven't been here, and if you're used to your pizza having just cheese, tomato, mushrooms, then you would be probably in the wrong place. Some people talk about when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. Yes, they do. That being a great step for mankind. We like to think about the pizzas that we make as being that next step. Yes. Spinach, mozzarella, tomato. Macaroni and cheese is like a perennial favorite. Some chicken and pineapples. Barbecue chicken, cheddar, bacon, and ranch. This, as far as I'm aware, is the last step in man's evolution. The next thing that will happen, as far as I understand, is that Skynet will achieve self-awareness. If Skynet does do that, we'll get a pizza for Skynet. Yummy. Reality Queen on Twitter said we had to come here for the mac and cheese pizza. Hashtag, duh. But this is our hashtag breakfast show. I'm sure you guys must do some weird, crazy breakfast type pizza. We have done so many breakfast pizzas, but the one I think that you're talking about. Chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. Is our chicken and waffles slice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At first you think this isn't gonna taste good. It always tastes amazing. Bread, waffles, chicken, everything you possibly ask for. I would eat the cheese for breakfast, but the fact that they have chicken and waffles is fantastic. All right, enough clucking. <laughs> Let's cook. We're gonna preform the crust. Do a little bit of pokes around the edge. It's okay. like some of my school teachers used to do to me on my shoulder. That was not nice. Did it work? Ouch. No. With a pizza, it will work. Yeah. We take our right hand, and we're gonna make a C. This needs to go in the little divot. And with the other hand, you're gonna rotate the pizza. Okay, we're gonna flip it over, and now we're gonna stretch the crust. I don't know if it's a skill or my teaching, but either way, you're nailing it. Yeah, I am. On to our toppings. Now we're gonna grab some cheese. It's like in elementary school when they teach you how to color. They say, start around the edges and then fill in the middle. No, all they said was sit in the corner where the dunce hat. Huh? This is the cream sauce that we're gonna use on the base. We gotta get the chicken, okay? You wanna use one hand to grab, the other hand to guide. Okay, let's hit it with some waffles. All right, now it's gonna go in the oven. Okay, I've just got just the thing to pair with our breakfast. Sounds good, what's that? You'll see. Oh. I'm an artist, let me work. It's especially good on one of those mornings where you just kind of drank a little bit too much. It's just the combination of sweet and savory. It helped you like sober up really, really good. It's a perfect hangover brunch. I need a little hair of the dog. And I know you're BYAB, so I brought us some Sophie, so. It should cure everything. Chicken and waffles on pizza. It would have thunk it. You crazy son of a <laughs> Chicken's beautiful. Waffles are different gravy though. That's special with the honey and butter on top as well. Not me, maybe someone else. Been out the night before, had a few too many drinks. No, I'm talking about me. This yeah. is exactly what I want for breakfast. Why are you Chicago's best for breakfast? You make everything from scratch, and there's nothing better to start your day than a slice of chicken and waffles pizza. This is the new flavor of breakfast. I am ready for Skynet now, and he's in safe humanity. To humanity! To humanity. Oh, to humanity.